it's the underdog here and today I'll be talking about how to handle Rosalina and Luma. Now, many of you have likely dreaded meeting a Rosalina. At first glance, she seems to have a strong counter for projectiles, ridiculous range, and Luma to both absorb and do damage. Plus, Zero thinks as of 1.1.6, she's top tier. See that I actually rank Rosalina has the best character currently in Smash 4. Obviously, this is my opinion. This is no official ranking whatsoever. Just but what if I told you that once you know how, She's really easy to deal with. Now, firstly, before we begin, we need to break down Rosalina into two parts. Rosalina and, of course, Luma. Both require completely different approaches. Both must be addressed in the course of a battle. Dealing with Rosalina requires multitasking and misdirection. Let's start off with Rosalina. Classically, when a Rosalina encounters a Dark Hunt duo, their assumption will be that projectiles are your main game, and most at the opening of a match will be ready to down B absorb the projectiles. So as soon as you so much as flinch a projectile, chances are they will down B. This will reduce if they learn it is ineffective. Rosalina's down B, however, has a disadvantage in that it's only really good against Duck Hunt Duo's Frisbee, because the end lag on Duck Hunt Duo's side B takes so long that Rosalina can down B and then punish before Duck Hunt can move. This helps guide our gameplay style, which means we have to favour gunmen and cans, as these can move and operate independently. Furthermore, Rosalina players are fundamentally human beings, which means their down B reaction speed is dictated by the player reaction speed. This can be gamed to your advantage, because most Rosalinas do not know the gunman's shot timings or their range, and will often be caught off guard. Furthermore, cans can be shot erratically, forcing them to preemptively down B. Now, the down B on Rosalina can be baited and misdirected. During the down B, Rosalina is vulnerable, with the exception of absorbing cans which can fly through the air and still hit you during the down B animation cycle. Which means if you deploy gunmen, you can force them to choose between either attempting to down B the gunman shot, which if anything they will miss time, or shielding or dodging your incoming attack. Layered correctly, Rosalinas will not be able to move, or if they do move, they will be stuck on the defence. This gives you a neutral playing field to work with. Now, following on the heels of the reaction speed remarks, this also means that projectiles and close range attacks need to be inverted. Frisbees at near point blank range will often be too fast for most Rosalinas to down B, likewise for cans. Furthermore, using melee style attacks when far away will often throw Rosalinas off guard, as chances are they are expecting projectiles, and will do def projectile defensive moves. Done right, Rosalinas will be reconditioned to expect melee attacks at far range, at which point you can introduce a projectile. Usually they are quick to revert to previous behaviours, so surprise projectiles should be kept irregular. So I hear you saying, what about Luma? The approach to Luma is one I rarely see even tournament level Duck Hunt duo players using. It's to treat Luma as if they are a valid, fully functional CPU. Essentially, you are fighting one human player and one level 1 to 3 CPU. Now, this doesn't mean going for Luma aggressively, but to keep an eye out for opportunities to engage, damage, destroy, or deflect Luma. For example, if Rosalina tries to use Luma Shot and Luma is far away, you might want to consider trying to back air or forward air or dash attack jab Luma off the edge. This will have multiple positive effects. If damaged, it reduces Luma's lifespan. If knocked off, Luma will be destroyed, leaving Rosalina relatively vulnerable. It punishes Rosalina for leaving Luma so exposed, conditioning them not to send out Luma as often. If Luma is destroyed, Rosalina players will often panic or retreat, leaving them open to being sniped with projectiles or even KO'd. Rosalinas will become more defensive of Luma, which means you can then hit Luma in order to bait a Rosalina rush and then punish, and without Luma, Rosalina is vulnerable to being grabbed. 
It's similar to Pac-Man's Hydrant. Control the Hydrant, you control Pac-Man. Control Luma, you control Rosalina. Rosalina can shield projectiles, but because Luma sits forward of Rosalina's shield, Luma will still take damage. Attacking Luma opportunistically, especially when Rosalina is in a difficult to kill or reach position, often makes the most efficient use of your time. Even simply light jab locking Luma to do additional damage helps. I recommend attacking Luma opportunistically and erratically, because some Rosalinas will punish aggressive attacks on Luma, or even use it as bait for their own counter attacks. Ideal times to KO or damage Luma include after the Luma shot, in which back air is recommended as it gives good force but keeps you facing Rosalina. After Rosalina gets launched but leaves Luma behind, and after Rosalina goes off stage but leaves Luma behind. This can force them to choose between saving Luma or recovering. Additionally, Lumas have a small disadvantage. They follow Rosalina most places, including up in the air, and it makes them a great target for cans. Indeed, hitting Luma is easier due to its sluggish and predictable movement than an air dodging Rosalina. A Rosalina who tries to down B in mid-air is vulnerable to an up-air KO. The best moves for knocking Luma off stage are dash attack, forward air, back air and down smash due to the smash slide glitch. You can also use forward smash and rapid light jabs, but often the cycle is too slow to fully complete before Luma gets recalled. Edge guarding Rosalina. Furthermore, you can force ideal situations when it comes to edge guarding. Now, Duck Hunt's usual edge guarding techniques don't apply to Rosalina. Instead, it's recommended you bait the down B of Rosalina with a can when she's off stage, and then follow up with a forward air punish, or if you're really skilled, a down air punish. Done correctly, you will trade off the down B for a free KO. Some Rosalinas will get wise to this and stop down B, in which case usual projectile pressure tactics apply. Pressure, if they down B, punish. Furthermore, the best time to get a KO is when Rosalina up Bs. If they go for a ledge grab, try to get a two frame punish with down air on the edge, or if you're fast enough, back air them into the stage as they do their up B. And that's all for this video. Please leave a like, subscription or a comment. Feedback on what you like seeing is greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Today's controversial subject is tell Britain to stop selling weapons to Saudi Arabia. Britain is one of the biggest arms dealers in the world and right now it's selling weapons to Saudi Arabia who are committing war crimes in Yemen. Saudi forces have attacked charity hospitals, schools, food factories and even wedding parties and it could be with bombs, missiles and fighter jets that we've sold them. So now we've got to petition the British government and tell them enough is enough, we must not sell weapons to people who murder innocent civilians. I know that's pot calling kettle black in the case of Britain's handiwork in Iraq and Afghanistan but we need to start somewhere. Anyway, that's today's controversial subject. I'll see you in the next video.